we have met uh, Equal Opportunities Commission here at Bugolobi. We have met with the Committee uh, of Gen uh, Committee of Parliament uh, on Gender, Labour and Social Development. Actually, they had come to to ask for information on exportation of labour. Uh, what happened? Uh, there is one lady, Elivanson in Nabatanzi, who petitioned the Speaker of Parliament on mistreatment of her daughter while she was doing work abroad. Uh, the data was called Nakagulide. And uh, the, the petition, the speaker committed the petition to the Committee of Gender, Labor, and Social Development. And so, because uh, our commission, the Equal Opportunities Commission, uh, follows under, its work follows under the Committee of Gender, although it cuts across all sectors, but uh, then they sought to meet with us because there's a number of cases who have come to our attention, the legal department of parliament, on the same. Uh, so today we have been exchanging ideas. But Ugandans, you know that uh, the number of challenges uh, with uh, exportation of labor, uh, as much as there are those uh, young people from Uganda who are exported and they get, actually, they do work and then they get an, an income, but there are also those ones who actually face a number of challenges. So uh, today we came together to see how can we actually come up with ideas to make the, the working conditions of Ugandans abroad better. Because, you know, it may not be very easy to stop the young people going, but what we want to see is them having, uh, they, is them having uh, favorable working conditions so that they can earn an income and then they are, uh, they are able maybe to prosper. Our concluding line was like uh, the speaker inviting uh, all stakeholders, starting with our mother ministry of gender, the, the exportation companies, the Minister of Justice, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, maybe representatives of uh, our missions abroad, uh, the, the NGO, the national NGO, the umbrella organization for the exporting companies, uh, maybe representatives of parents, of the people who have actually been there abroad, so that we can come up with uh, good guidelines to, to, uh, to ensure favorable working conditions for our children.